Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just want to show you this vi quick video over this little hydroponic system that I did. Um, this is the Crafty method. There's no um, aeration or anything in the water. The roots are just sitting in the water similar to a DWC system. I've been running this for about two and a half weeks. Only with a container full of water keeping it topped off at 200 ppm of nutrients. I'm using the general hydroponics um, micro and grow only. I'm not introducing any floral um, nutrients at all. I'm running a 25 watt T5 light bulb. This is actually the uh, jump start. I got this whole thing um, off of Craigslist. Just the rack and the light for um, $10. I think it usually sells for like $32 on Amazon. But this kale, I planted it in here using uh, cotton swabs instead of um, the Grodan cubes or the rock wool which can be really expensive when you're talking about you get 20 squares for nine dollars so I've just been using uh, these they're called organic cotton swabs and I I like them a lot better than using like the ones that I used to get from Walmart that would get a lot of buildup and stuff they would kind of almost turn yellow um, when they're sitting in the nutrients, I noticed that the organic ones, I don't know if there's, I don't know what they put on them or what the regular ones, but the organic ones, they don't get that build up. And then they deteriorate also, so you don't have to be dealing with a rock wool cube. As you can see, and let me get it to focus, you can't see any of the cotton swab. It's just kind of deteriorated and uh, gone away. But this has been two weeks. This is dwarf kale. Uh, this system's ready. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take you to my larger hydroponic system where I'm running a thousand watt light on the other side of my classroom right now. So you can try not to make you dizzy, but this is my classroom. And then there's my large hydroponic tent and we're going to go over there real quick like... Alright, and we're here. And as you can see, these plants, they're a lot larger than the other ones and I'm running a really powerful light. This is a 1000 watt metal halide because I'm just running them on a grow or vegetative light cycle. Um, the nutrients, I keep them at 200. Um, this is Monday morning, me arriving at school. Uh, we had the nutrients, I think we put them to 220 on Friday. And right now you can see on my trimeter, uh, we're at 80 right now. So uh, and that's not gonna be from nutrient lockout or anything that's just straight up uh, the plants pulling out the water and uh, in two days I almost need to get like a a fresh water um, top off for this the water level was all the way up here two days ago and now it's all the way at the bottom so I'm getting a lot of transpiration and a little bit of uh, evaporation and combination those two are really uh, draining my water levels but uh, um, I've had some students harvest it on Friday because over the weekend uh, they wanted to make some food with their family. Um, my students, they grow the food. Um, we cook the food here at school and we also uh, give it to them to take home. But this is my um, dwarf kale grow. Uh, this is also two weeks. This has done a lot better than the other system I previously showed you, but that's because this is much more professional. This is using a lot, lo a lot more electricity. Um, if I had to compare the two and I had a backyard or at least a classroom with windows, I would probably do the crafty method because you save a lot of money and it grows very well. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, pop over real quick to show you what I'm getting started in a aquaponics system in my classroom. So here we go. And we're here. Okay, so this is the aquaponic system that I have in my classroom. I'm just now getting it started. I don't have any fish or, at all right now. This is a, a 150 gallons inside of a IBC tote that's been cut in half. I have one half here and one half over there on the other side of my classroom that I'm using to fill up with RO water because I need a lot of water because in my classroom I have a lot a lot of fish tanks okay this is where we're doing all the fish breeding but I'll get into that later but let's focus on the aquaponic system and this aquaponic system I have a couple of things that we're just now getting started I have uh, bok choy seedlings and excuse the black bands across the screen but 
that's going to be the light interfering with the digital camera. Um, this is bok choy seedlings. Now these are about two weeks old. And when you're looking at this, you're like, hey man, two weeks from now, if I had some bok choy, it'd be looking a lot better than this. Well, that's because I have no fish in here. And anyone that knows anything about aquaponics is you always start with the plants first and fish second. This is going to be my fifth consecutive year starting up this system right here. Every year I have to restart because in the summer it has to totally get shut down because I don't want to spend my summers coming up to work. All right. So this is um, some sweet potato. Come on, sweet potato in the classroom. As you can see, there's the potato that we started with and we're, broking, we're breaking off some of these, uh, these vines. It's a, I'm pretty sure it's vining, a, a vining type of plant, but we're breaking them off and planting them around the system. So I got bok choy and I also have some dwarf kale that was planted the same time as the um, hydroponics and you can see the difference in having good nutrients and not. But uh, this is also some celery. It, I'll be posting more videos specifically on this system right here in maybe a week. I have to get the fish first and then I'll be breaking down and doing explanations on this. If you have any questions about any of the things that I've mentioned in this video or if you just want a better explanation, make sure you write me in the comments and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye bye.